Treatment and Management of Blood Clots Treatment of blood clots, including deep vein thrombosis, or DVT, and pulmonary embolism, or PE, involves a number of potential options, including anticoagulant injections under the skin, anticoagulant pills taken by mouth, surgical intervention to remove clots or prevent them from traveling to the lung. The best treatment option depends on the location of the blood clot and your medical history. The treatment is usually individualized, so a similar blood clot can be treated very differently from person to person. The main goals of treatment are to stop the blood clot from getting bigger, keep new clots from forming, and prevent a DVT from breaking off and moving to your lungs. Anticoagulation therapy, commonly referred to as blood thinners, is frequently used. These blood thinning medications decrease the blood's ability to clot, prevent new clots from forming, and can keep clots from breaking off and traveling to the lungs. Blood thinners don't actually thin the blood, which is a popular misconception, nor do they break up clots that have already been formed. Your body will do that on its own with time. However, your doctor may give you a more potent medication that quickly dissolves clots if you experience a life-threatening blood clot. Rarely, your doctor may use surgery or another procedure to physically remove the clot. Blood clots are frequently treated with anticoagulant pills taken by mouth that can be used at home. Common oral medications like these include warfarin and a variety of medications commonly referred to as NOACs. Your doctor will discuss your options with you and together you can determine which medication is best suited for you. If your doctor selects warfarin, you will need to have routine blood tests called an INR test to ensure that your blood clotting levels are in a good range. The first INR test is usually done when warfarin therapy is started. If your doctor selects an NOAC, you may not need routine blood tests. However, there are important reasons to select warfarin or NOACs, so you should discuss this decision with your doctor who is familiar with you. With some medications and certain clots, you may be required to have a supplemental anticoagulant that is usually given as an injection. The supplemental anticoagulant is used until the oral medications become effective in the bloodstream. If you are pregnant, you will normally be treated only with particular type of medication called low molecular weight heparin. Because drugs like warfarin are unsafe to the unborn baby, patients usually are required to take blood thinning medications for DVT for three to six months. If you've had blood clots before or you have other risk factors, you may be treated longer, perhaps for life. For a blood clot in the lung, which is life-threatening, a doctor may use treatments that remove or break up the clot. In these situations, a person is normally admitted to the hospital. Thrombolytics, frequently referred to as clot busters, are medicines that can quickly dissolve a blood clot. They are used to treat large clots that cause severe symptoms. Thrombolytics can cause sudden bleeding, so they're used only in life-threatening situations. Patients with PE who are very stable can sometimes be treated at home. The treatment will be the same as DVT therapy and will include an oral anticoagulant and perhaps a supplemental anticoagulant. Be sure to continue to watch for blood clot symptoms. Although treatment is highly effective, it's not guaranteed. If you cannot take anticoagulants or they do not work, your doctor may suggest a vena caval filter. This implantable device keeps blood clots from traveling to your lungs, but it won't stop other blood clots from forming. Blood thinning medications are important to prevent and treat blood clots and to save lives. Like any prescription medication, however, they can cause some risks, including bleeding. You should report any unusual bleeding to your doctor immediately. Also, Always follow your doctor's instructions for how to take your blood thinning medication and talk to him or her if you have any questions or concerns.